Hi, my name is PK Gulati. I'm the founder of The Assembly. If you're here, you're probably watching an Assembly workshop. We do these workshops every week and these are prepared by the Assembly team in Dubai. These workshops cover ideas from data sciences, hardware design, automation, robotics, drones, and all the other exponential technologies that can, you can think about. The idea is for us to learn more than what curriculum teaches us. And we are trying to bring people to start working with their own hands with these technologies which have the capacity of changing the world. So welcome to this workshop and learn more about new wonders what you can build. Hello guys, welcome back to another workshop. In today's workshop, we'll be creating an air canvas using OpenCV. Air canvas is a hand-free digital drawing canvas. With the help of OpenCV, we will be able to recognize and map hand or pointer gestures. So without even touching your keyboard or mouse, we'll be able to draw things on your laptop. So before we proceed with the workshop, let me introduce the assembly. Assembly is a smart lab based out of Infi since December 2014. Since then, we have completed over 300 free workshops. The three main types of workshops we mainly focus on are Hack, Code and Data Science. Hack is all about embedded systems, IoT, hardware. Code is basically software projects, APIs, frameworks. Data Science, as the name suggests, deals with topics related to AI and machine learning. Uh, the target audience are students, entrepreneurs, professionals, basically anyone who is interested in the field of technology. We focus mainly on smart technology, its applications and so on. We also have a forum where we discuss about the recent advances in the technological field. Do follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more upcoming workshops. So let us see what we will be doing today. As said earlier, we will be making an air canvas using OpenCV. The motion of colored markers are captured using a webcam which helps us to trace or draw lines on the screen. Now let's say the libraries we will be using today for our project. Firstly, we will be using OpenCV. So OpenCV is basically used for computer vision applications. It is widely used to improve machine perception skills. To install OpenCV for Python, go to command prompt and run the code pip install OpenCV-Python. Next, we will be using the NumPy library. NumPy stands for numerical Python and deals with library consisting of multidimensional array objects. NumPy arrays are considered to be 50 times faster than any other Python list as arrays are stored at one continuous place in memory. To install NumPy, open command prompt and run the command pip install NumPy. Finally, we will be using the collection module. Collection module, as the name suggests, is the collection of containers like lists, tuples, etc. DQ or double-ended queue is a feature of adding or removing elements from either ends. So let's begin coding now. So let's begin coding now. Firstly, we import all the required modules. So import NumPy. Import uh, CV2. Uh, CV2 is the uh, name for open CV in Python. From collections, import DQ. Next, uh, we'll define a uh, uh, function called set values. So, def set values. Okay, what this will do is this is used to set values uh, in the color uh, detector tab uh, for, uh, for the uh, uh, hue, saturation, and value. For these values, up, upper and lower both. Next, uh, we'll create the uh, track bars for adjusting the uh, marker colors. So for that, cv2 dot name window. So what what this what the statement does is this is uh, assigns a name for the uh, window. So our the window name will be color detectors bar. Next, uh, we'll create the uh, track bar. So cv2 dot create track bar. So uh, we have uh, six bars here: upper hue. Uh, upper saturation and upper value and similar for the for low also. Next we'll add the uh, tab name that is color detector. Then uh, next value is the uh, set value when we start the when, when we run the output. So uh, I'm setting the value as 135 according to my marker pen. So 135 and uh, 180 is the uh, 180 is the uh, limit, total limit of how much we can uh, set the value to. So we can set from 0 to 180 the values. Come set values. <coughs> Similarly, 
uh, we have for uh, all the other statements. So let's we'll copy the statement. We'll paste it around six times. For saturation, and then the upper value. Similarly, uh, we'll have a lower hue, lower saturation, and lower uh, value. So you can uh, set the uh, colors as per your wish. For my marker, I'm using the set values: 135 as upper hue, then uh, 205 as my upper saturation, then 255 as my value, 64 as my lower saturation, and 85 as my a lower saturation sorry so that was 64 was upper hue as lower hue and um, 85 is lower saturation and lower value is uh, 111 uh, once we finish creating the uh, track pass next we will uh, assign each color with the set of arrays so for that we will do b b points square brackets bq max length is equal to 102 we have to set for each color so we are using uh, blue green red and yellow so next for green, uh, we'll do G points, same statement again, equal to DQ, max length is equal to 1024. Now for uh, the red color, we'll do R points equal to square brackets DQ, round brackets, max length is equal to 1024. And for uh, the yellow, we'll do Y points. Next, we'll uh, set the index values for each color. So for that, we'll do blue index equal to zero. And uh, similar for all, green index, red index equal to zero. And for yellow, yellow index equal to zero. So uh, next, we, we will type kernel equal to np dot points to uh, round brackets five comma five comma np dot int. Eight. So, uh, uh, what this does is, when we start running the code, the code tries to get item to get all the items uh, to the to the color which we have set according to the color detector. So, uh, to remove all the small impurities, we will be using this kernel statement. Next, uh, we will set the colors. So, for that, colors is equal to uh, square bracket open two fifty five comma zero comma zero. This uh, 255 comma 0 comma 0 is for the color blue. Similarly, uh, for uh, green, similarly for all, uh, all other colors, we will be typing. So 0 comma 255 comma 0. So then next is 0 comma 0 comma 255. Then for yellow, it is uh, comma 0 comma 255. And uh, we'll have the and uh, we'll have the color index set to zero. Color index equal to zero. So uh, next we'll make the uh, paint window. Uh, for that we will type paint window paint uh, window equal to np dot. We'll be making an array here. Np dot zeros. Seven, sorry, 471 comma 636 comma 3 plus 255. So what we have done here is we are creating an array uh, with the dimensions of 471 uh, and 636. We are, uh, why we are adding the 255 in the end is to have the white white background screen. So uh, next uh, we will make the uh, rectangles to uh, for, for clear and color buttons. To paint window equal to cv2 dot rectangle. This is basically the position of the uh, uh, position of the uh, rectangles. Forty comma sixty five comma. And next, uh, we'll be making the window for window equal to cv2 dot rectangle paint. 
comma 160 comma 1 250 to 255 comma 65 comma colors we may uh, we made this array in the starting before the we st uh, started the statement so we, we are calling here that color 0 after required here minus 1 then you now will copy the statement for all the other three colors so we will change, change the values here to 275 to 390 505 next here also we change the values we will set as 370 for the third second color 485 and 600 and 600 sorry we will set the values here 1 2 3 for each colors 1 and that's the uh, rectangles for the colors now after making the rectangles now we will uh, add the text and uh, colors to these rectangles so for that pv2 dot put text pin window comma the text for the first one is clear for pin 9 comma 33 now we'll set the uh, font cv2 dot font version complex comma 0 0.5 we'll uh, set the values 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 2 comma cv2 dot 9 so this is again again uh, this put text here this is again for the uh, clear button next first color cv2 dot put text paint window we have the blue color next so b l u e blue comma 185 comma 33 comma cb2 dot want she complex comma 0.5 255 comma 255 so these are the colors so we are adding the uh, color values here 255 comma 2 comma 2 comma cv2 dot line a now for all the other colors we'll again the same things we'll copy a statement again and uh, we'll change accordingly so we have the next red then we have yellow we'll be setting 298 for red then uh, rest all be same for all just the value the starting values will be different 420 for uh, green sorry red for yellow will be setting 520 so next after uh, giving the colors and the uh, places for the, uh, the text next we'll uh, name the window so for, so for that we'll do cv2 dot name window as paint Two dot window auto size. So what it does this? According to the other windows, it will auto automatically size the window for your screen. Next, uh, what next we'll uh, load the camera. So for that we'll do cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture. Brackets equal zero. So after after the statement, uh, we'll uh, we'll start our while loops. So next while true comma frame equal to cap dot read. What the statement does is it's it's a uh, it's take the value from uh, from your camera and uh, reads per frame. Frame is equal to cv two dot flip frame comma one uh, comma one. Uh, so next we'll convert it to HSV. So HSV is equal to CVT dot get CVT dot CVT color frame CV2 dot color BGR2 HSV BGR HSV. So what is the statement does is it will convert the uh, uh, BGR uh, color form to HSV color format. So after the statement. Uh, we'll uh, set the uh, hue values now. So u hue is equal to cv2 dot get track bar position. So this for hue. Comma. 
from the color uh, from the color detector tab. Similar for similarly for your saturation, the same thing. So we will just copy this signal. We will change here to saturation. We will change to saturation here again. <coughs> Next, uh, for the uh, value, we will send a uh, change here to value. And here we will change to value. So, main now we will have to do for the lower ones also. So, for that, we make this over here. Make it as L. Instead of you, we'll change to L here. And uh, for the uh, next statement, lower saturation. And here I will change it to L saturation. For the next statement, it's a lower value. So. So we will set it as L value, L underscore value. So after the statement, what you do is we'll add the color buttons to the uh, live frame. So uh, as what we did for the uh, pane window, we'll do the same for the live frame here. Now. It's it's same as the pane window. We'll just change the uh, names for, from uh, of the pane window. Change these two frames. And now uh, we'll put the uh, text into uh, the uh, for the live frame. So for that we will again copy this statement. Okay. Paste it here. So now instead of print window, we will change it to print. Okay. So uh, so now once we finish this step, uh, we'll move on to the mask uh, tab. So now let's set up the uh, mask window. So for that, mask is equal to pv2 dot range quick comma lower hsv comma upper hsv. So next we'll have mask is equal to again pv2 dot zero mask comma kernel direction span so what it does is it uh, removes any impurities and uh, it checks for any impurities in the statement iteration is equal to 1 and with mask is equal to v2 dot morphology dot mark open comma kernel next we type mask is equal to pv2 dot delete mask comma kernel comma Iterations again. So, so according to the values that in color detectors for your pointers, we'll be able to see the outline of your object in, in the mask window. So, for that, we'll check for contours. So, E N T R S T S.
equal to cv2 dot find counters mask dot copy dot mod comma cv2 dot RTER RTR external comma CV2 dot chain rocks simple next uh, since we haven't find the center center of the contour so we set the center to zero for timing Enter is equal to zero. So now we'll uh, check if we have got any counters. Uh, so for that, we'll, we'll do uh, we'll use an if statement. So if then greater than uh, then ENTS greater than zero. So if this statement is true, then uh, we'll uh, we'll check uh, uh, we'll check for the biggest out of them. We we'll get their radius and. Uh, uh, we will draw a circle around that uh, around that contour. So for that, it's comma y, comma radius is equal to p v two dot min enclosing circle from C and T. So next, uh, we will draw the circle around the final point we got. So C V two dot circle green int x comma int y comma int radius. Now we set the color, which is uh, 0, 255, 255, which is the yellow color, comma 2. Next, uh, now we'll uh, calculate the center of the uh, detected contour. So for that, we'll do m is equal to cv2 dot omx cnt. Next, uh, it will do center is equal to int m, sorry, yeah, int m, uh, we'll open a square bracket, m puts 1, 0. Close closed, the bracket hash m 0, 0, comma. We will do the same thing again int m m 0, 1 m 0, 0. So uh, after the statement, now uh, now we'll uh, check if the user wants to click any of the buttons which is clear and the color button. So for that, if center 1 less than or equal to 65. So if uh, sender one uh, less than or equal to sixty five, uh, then uh, we do if if forty less than or equal to sender two and forty b points is equal to we'll again bring the dq statement of dq max then is equal to five hundred twelve. We set the max length as five hundred twelve now. So uh, we'll do this for all colors g point equal to dq max len equal to 512 now for the red color r points is equal to dq max len equal to 512 y for the yellow color now we'll do y points is equal to dq max len equal to 512 so uh, now i will again set the uh, set the indexes now uh, so for that we will do blue index equal to 0, green index equal to 0, red index equal to 0 and the yellow index equal to 0. Uh, now uh, after this we will do paint window 67 colon comma colon equal to 255. Uh, now uh, this is for drawing uh, for checking the color location okay so elif if one sixty the uh, if forty this, this is the first part is for the uh, clear part clear button next uh, we'll be doing it for the uh, the uh, blue button one sixty given equal to Enter zero greater than equal to 
255. If the statement is true, then look color index equal to 0. Next, if for LF 275, 275 greater than equal to center 0 greater than equal to 370 we will call color index uh, 1 for the green color color index equal to 1 next for LF LF 390 is equal to center 0 is equal to 485 then color index equal to 2 help 505 greater than equal to center index greater than equal to 600 we call color index equal to 3 else if uh, if the, uh, if uh, if the user is trying to draw something or uh, and not select the colors or clear button, we'll uh, do, we'll uh, call the, call those values. So for that, else if color index equal to zero, B point to index. and left LF color index equal to 1 G points green index append Center LF color index is equal to two R points red index dot append left center. Elif. color index equal to 3 start points y points yellow index dot Bend left center okay so at this point uh, if you have to stop drawing at a particular point and start uh, drawing from some other uh, position on the screen what it does is it will it will draw a straight line from the final point to the new point so to avoid that we will call an else statement else B points points dot append dq max len is equal to five one two blue index plus equal to one. Similarly for G points, G points dot append dq max len is equal to five one two green index plus or equal to 1.
for red color so r points dot append dq max length is equal to 512 then red index plus or equal to 1 then for a uh, yellow do y points dot append dq max length is equal to 512 and we'll do yellow points yellow so yellow index plus or equal to 1 now uh, next we will see how to draw lines of color selected or uh, selected on the frame uh, frame so for that we will do points is equal to b points comma g points comma r points comma y points put bracket for i in range m points for g in, for j in range n points i for for k in range one comma one points i j so after this we will call our f condition f points i j k minus 1 is none or points i j k is none then we will uh, continue Again. otherwise we will uh, continue cv2 dot line frame comma points i j k minus 1 comma points i j k we'll have to draw on both a uh, frame and the pane window so we'll, uh, we, we have the same statement twice so the comma colors color i comma 2 equal to dot line paint window i in the comma points i j k minus 1 comma points i j k comma color I guess I comma 2 colors color now to show all the windows we'll uh, add the command cv2 dot and show tracking comma frame and uh, cv2 dot I am show paint comma paint window and cv2 dot I am show mask comma mask so now all our, all these windows should be shown when when we uh, go for the output and next uh, if you want to quit uh, in bit after uh, drawing we'll add a command if cv2 dot wait key order q so when this statement if uh, someone press the q button it will uh, end the process and it will terminate the uh, window all the windows so now uh, after uh, this we'll, we'll uh, in the end we'll have to release the camera and all the other resources which you take which you took so for that we'll do cap dot release and cv2 dot destroy so uh, this is the code now we'll uh, run the we'll check the output now so as you guys can see uh, we have a small error here okay so it's a uh, double equal to not, not single equal to and um, on top it's a small error like it's not 180 here it will be 255 I'll copy and I forgot to change the value so 
to the value is going to be 255. Yeah, that's wonderful now. Yep, it works. So as you guys can see, uh, after clearing all the errors and when while running it, uh, we can see the we, we can draw without without in touching anywhere on a keyboard or a mouse. We can draw on a screen. If you want to clear, we'll bring the pointer towards the clear all button. If you want blue color, we'll go to blue. Then come here, we'll get blue color. You want to stop somewhere and start again. It'll work and if you want to again clear, you can clear, go to red, select red, can you become red color now. So, so this is the program. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for watching today's workshop. Do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such workshops and activities. Also, do follow us on social media pages to and stay connected for our upcoming workshops.